Yes! <laughs> okay, GPD-4 Vision just won its first game, uh, Hand of Poker. In this video, I give GPD-4, the model behind ChatGPT, the ability to autonomously play Texas Hold'em, a form of poker. I give it control of my mouse and my browser, and it takes a screenshot to see what the game hand looks like. And then after the screenshot, it can use my mouse to control uh, to control it and then to click one of the available game options, such as to fold, to check, or to raise. I was impressed with how it did, considering it wasn't trained specifically for poker. I think it could be improved upon a lot more, but I think it's an interesting look at what could be possible in the future. Real quick, I just wanted to mention Multimodal Gamer, which is the code that makes this project possible. If you're curious to take a look, there's a link in the description. Now, let's get started. Okay, let's see how the first version does. Um, so we're gonna start it up. Okay. Now, Multimodal Gamer is gonna make a decision to click one of these three buttons, and we'll see what it decides to do. So it decides to check. So it should be able to click that check button. Okay, so check one. Okay, so I have a better working version of Multimodal Gamer playing uh, Text Hold'em. So I thought let's start a new game and uh, let it play through a little bit longer. So you can see how it plays multiple hands. So here we go, we got the game started up. Let me start up Multimodal Gamer. Uh, let's wait for the deck to be there. Okay, let's go ahead and get it. Okay. Cool, so now it's taking a screenshot and it should come back with a decision here. Takes a little while because GPT-4 Vision has some latency. So we're waiting for the decision. Okay, so it decided to call. So it should be able to click call and move on to um, to continue playing this hand. So it called. Now, this part was a little tricky because sometimes a button's not available, so sometimes it will wait until its next turn. So now it's right now it's coming back with an action. It decided to check. Okay, cool, so it should go ahead and check now. Something failed. Oh, okay, I know why. Um, it, it failed because the screenshot was taken before the button was available. So the OCR step failed. Now it's gonna wait um, because, okay, now it's gonna check again. It's gonna try to play, play again. Okay, so it found check this time, so it clicked it. All right, it's not got a great hand. I wonder if it will fold. Okay, it's gonna, oh, it said check, but it um, check's not available on the screen, call is available. So it did the wrong thing there, <clears throat> but it has the right idea. So I think now it's probably going to try to call um, as the next action. Okay, it's gonna call. OCR work to click call. Okay, really is not a great hand. It wants to raise, okay. I don't know what it sees that I don't. Okay, so that was failed. So it failed there because, uh, actually I don't know what failed there. Let's see what it tries to do. Okay, now it wants to check, sure. Let's check. Okay, so it checked. Now let's see what everyone else has. Oh, see, yeah, it should have it should have folded, but it's able to play a full hand, which is which is progress. Cool. So I improved the GPT-4 prompt so that it provides a clear reason and uh, the thought for why it decides to do an action. I think it's performing better, so I wanted to play another hand. Let's uh, go ahead and get multimodal gamer started. Okay, so 
this hand, it's an okay hand. It should try to play this hand. I don't think it'll fold. And if it plays this hand, it should, should give us a little information about how it's making its decision. So I have a 10 to four. My hand is weak, I said, but I didn't, I didn't read the rest, but it's gonna check. Okay, we have a pair. Okay, so let's see what it says about that. So any second now, it should provide the thought and then I have to read it really quick before it goes on. Okay, I should check. Uh, no need to bet with a weak hand. I mean, it's not super weak, but. Okay, something on the OCR failed. Not a big deal, it's just gonna try again. So we should have another thought here. With no potential for improvement, weak hand. Okay, so it decided to check. I didn't quite read the whole thought, but I think this hand is okay. A pair is a pair. Okay, it's gonna check. I think that makes sense. It didn't provide a thought there. Sometimes GPT-4 doesn't listen to the prompt. Um, there was an OCR issue there, so it's gonna try again. Maybe it'll have a better thought this time. Let's see. Okay, it's gonna check. I, I think that's the right move, and it, and it consistently decides that. So, okay, so that succeeded. So everyone's checked. Sweet. Okay, we are good. We got a three fours. That's awesome. Check. It should have bet, but hey, maybe it's just playing the safe side. Okay, so that's an OCR issue. I have to figure out. For some reason, it's not clicking where it should. Maybe it'll decide to raise this time. No, it's gonna check. Cool. I think we might have this game. All right. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, GPD-4 Vision just won its first game, uh, Hand of Poker. Nice. All right, so you saw the different iterations of the project and how it improved over time, and then finally won. Now, I'll just let it play through for a longer period of time, and I'll put it on four times speed so that you can just see how it works unfiltered.
Wow, I enjoyed watching that. And it won that last hand. I think it could be as good as your average person who doesn't play poker very often, like me. Um, of course, I'm probably not a good judge of poker because I'm not very good at it. But um, definitely nowhere near like a professional level, level. But for something that wasn't trained specifically for poker, it seems to know what to do. Let's look at the code a little bit. So we're looking at the prompt right now. This AI prompt is sent to the model GPD-4 Vision Preview is the full name. And this is a multimodal model which uh, can receive both text and uh, visual inputs. So we send both. We send this text to the model as well as the screenshot of our screen. So if we look a little bit at what this um, prompt is saying, so we say, you know, you're a poker expert and um, you get your goals to win. For context, we'll be, uh, you will be selecting buttons on a screen. And here we can see all of the actions it's aware of. So it can fold, check, call, raise, wait, um, OK, or continue. Um, the first four are just common poker moves. And the next three are more related to like the logistics of how it needs to play. So sometimes it needs to wait because maybe the other card players or the other players are going or it's changing to a new hand. Sometimes it needs to click OK. Specifically when it raises, it has to click OK to confirm. And then continue is when the hand ends. It can click continue. And so this prompt is sent to GPT-4 and it's then expected output is a thought and an action and a reason. So it can provide the main critical part is this action. Uh, and the action will be one of those that we just uh, looked at. And what we do with that action, so if we look at the system prompt, is we send this system prompt uh, with a user prompt that says see the screen. So basically we're sending all this information AI into the model GPT-4 vision preview. And we're getting back a response, which is the action. And we do some parsing with the action, but the critical part is um, to, that makes this work is basically OCR, which stands for optical character recognition. We take the screenshot and then on our end, we um, use a library called Easy, Easy OCR to find all the text on the, on the screenshot. And the reason we need to do that is we have to let GPT-4 learn, uh, have the ability to click text. So GPT-4 says, my action is to fold. Well, what do we do with that? We take that action fold and we pop, pass it over uh, the OCR return, which OCR will say, here's all the text on the screen. And we find the text on the screen that says fold and it has a coordinate system with it. And we have, we then pass that coordinates to our operating system to click that coordinates on the screen. So we can click at percentage, which we basically calculate percentage of fold and it's clicked. So all GPT-4 does is decide the action, fold. The rest is a bunch of different processing which we do in order to have fold be clicked. Um, at a high level, that's how it works. So that's really the critical part of how it works, but this, this project, Multimodal Gamer, has also works with Mario 64 and we can add other games if anyone wants to make a PR. Um, but basically it's a system to allow GPT-4 to see the screen, decide an action, and then we do a bunch of processing to make sure that action is fired with our keyboard and mouse. So that's a high level of the code. If you're interested in a more detailed view, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely uh, consider making another video with more detail. Well, that concludes the review of seeing how GPT-4 Vision does at playing Texas Hold'em. I was somewhat impressed that it ended at uh, a higher score than it started. It folded when it had bad hands and it checked when it had an okay hand and it happened to win on that on that uh, four times speed demo. So GPT-4 Vision is just like very generally knowledgeable, but it appeared to know enough to make those decisions um, in that in that longer gameplay. It would be interesting to see what would happen if I let it play through for like an hour, but that would cost me an arm and a leg and I won't do that right now, but uh, maybe someday. Okay, some final thoughts. This was played on 24-7poker.com with other computers. 
you could probably set it up to play with live players and you could probably um, have it play even for money. And that's kind of scary to me um, to think that when you're playing games online, especially if there's games online with money, it's really hard to know in the next year or two. It'll be really hard to know if you're playing with a real person. And at some point, these systems will likely outperform most people. So you probably don't... (laughs) Makes me think you probably don't want to be playing games for money online in 2025. Um, you just there's no way to know. I don't think there'll be a way to know. Um, there'll be a lot of games where like the systems are probably not good enough, but something like poker seems like ripe for for this because it's not like it's long term planning and it's um, and it's it's just just like an image is all you need. And these multimodal models are. The image multimodal models are going to be getting better and better. So, yeah, I have a lot of thoughts about it, but I thought this video would be valuable that it would show people that this is going to be possible and people can probably set up these systems to play like paid poker. So something to think about uh, for all of us, I think. Yeah. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, uh, definitely subscribe and like and let me know in the comments if you want me to add other games. See ya.